Today let's take a look at two extension cables I bought from a Chinese supplier on eBay. They are 8 inches long and come in various connector arrangements. I chose PO259 to SO239 as this fits perfect at my shack setup. Cable is thin enough to be passed between my double glazed window and a window frame. This was my main concern as I'm renting this property and drilling is forbidden. Build quality is surprisingly good for a Chinese product. Cable is well shielded and they have even put a heat shrink tubes on both ends. I got two of these cables so I can connect my dual band vertical antenna and my horizontal halo through my antenna switch by the window. Find the link to this product in the video description. Make sure you hit subscribe and the bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. This is the signal strength of the GB3 VHF beacon with the original cable I've made myself. You can see my current setup. going to replace just going to compare them don't want to drop it Probably there will be some signal loss in this thin cable, but whatever it is. Sorry about the external noise on the main road here. Sorry about the other one. Okay, let's do the second one. This one I have to replace with the proper cable. The one I'm using here, Ooh. oops, the one I'm using here is a Westflex 103, which I highly recommend as well. That's a good cable. Well, I have to buy a new piece of it. And replace this bit as well. That's for my horizontal halo. Okay, let's uh, do this. I'm just gonna put this down like that, something like this, and then we can just shut the window. For that, I'm going to connect my antenna switch here. So I'm not going to drop them. Right, so that's how it should be. Always double check your connectors.
I believe we've got some kind of improvement in the signal strength. And this is again with the vertical antenna as we started testing it with it. 